Peace, family. It's the sunniest part of the day, so I'm outside. This is my last day and my last attempt and my last time outside. <laughs> because it is getting real, y'all. But I'm going to do a harvest. I still have to cover a couple things up. I want to get some yarrow. I'm going to get some more echinacea so that I can make tea. Look. I was desperate. I got desperate, y'all. It was time for night night. <laughs> it was cold. And I couldn't cover the whole bed up. And I really think the carrots are going to be okay. So this is what I did. But I went to my friend's house the other day. And I helped her pull her peppers out so she could put them in the garage. And look, he probably got hit anyway because that part is blowing. So um, I think I'm gonna pull them out, trim them down and take them into the garage. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This guy's dying and I knew he would and it's fine. I have tomatoes to get. I'm gonna go ahead and get these and I guess make some salsa verde or something. I don't love this tomato enough to try to save it for the winter or nothing like that. But if it still wants to live, it can. I'm just going to get my tomatoes. Oosh. Y'all, it's night-night back there. But I also want to remind y'all to water your garden because dry, cold roots is worse. Okay? Thirsty, cold roots is a no-no. Okay? So I'm going to have to pull this off. I'll show you guys. Pull it off together. It is cold, but it's 46 right now and not like 30 something. So I'm just going to kind of pull it back a little bit and just water down on some roots, you know, just to make sure they don't dry out. So. I'm not getting too, you know, open or too crazy with it. But I think for now, they are doing okay. I just want to be able to get in here a little bit. And with my spray, I probably will spray back up in there. So I think they're okay for now. I do have this clipped a little bit. So <clears throat> Whew, I'm out in the sunniest part of the day just to try to get some stuff done. So I'll start with the harvest. I'm trying to kind of like let y'all get a look how stuff is looking. Y'all. Mm -mm. It's gonna be 19, I think tonight, or 20. Woo, loofah's starting to look crazy. Oh, I want to show y'all also that I hope I'm not moving too fast. I think I'm gonna try to get my sriracha pepper out. It already looks like it cut itself back. <laughs> and I was hoping that the loofah would be a windbreak for it. And I think it is so far, but the loofah's gonna die. Loofah don't like cold like that. So I might as well just get it out of there. That way I can bury my food scraps in here up under the loofah leaves when they die and that'll be that but look i know they're not gonna live i just want y'all to see i also have this jalapeno that has been happy living up under the loofah and i'm gonna dig him out too i think i think i'm gonna dig him out too see he got a pepper on there still so I'll get that. And I think I'm going to dig him out too. We'll see how many pots I can find. I didn't show you guys this, but this is how I covered my key lime. <laughs> uh, we'll see how he looks because it's not 30 something. It's going to go back down. But while the sun is out, um, I don't mind, you know, opening it up a little bit. So this is just how I decided to wrap him up. I'm not even gonna take all of them off. I'm just gonna let him kind of peekaboo. And I'm gonna drop these in here so that I can 
clip it right on back up. Get you a little sun, baby. Just a little bit. Like that much. <laughs> um, my yerba mate should be fine. Uh, what else? This one used to be a Meyer lemon that I loved. I wrapped this one up in a comforter last year and it still died. I am hoping that I have like a tiny microclimate right here too because my baby's house is here and I have like, you know, the fence and stuff. So I'm going to try to cut the loofah back off of my kumquat we did eat these we only got a few but they were so tasty and i'm gonna see what i have that i can wrap him up in last year we had him up in here and we covered this whole thing with frost cloth but frost cloth is good for nothing um it's just good for nothing so we're not doing that again this year and I can put the video below of what we did though. The video was fun. Um, my husband and I worked together, which is good for us, you know. So it was good. I am gonna open this greenhouse so I can make sure once and for all, everybody has the water that they need. Um, Cause I'm not gonna be out here and I'm not gonna open this up probably for a couple of days until the cold the very, very cold goes away. So, and I don't even fully open it up. I just kind of peek in. Everybody still looks great. They look healthy. Um, they're probably a little thirsty, maybe. But other than that, I think it's looking good. So I think it's looking good. So, I'm going to harvest, not this broccoli, I'm going to cover these broccolis up, I think. I'm going to cover this one, I'm going to get some of this Ethiopian kale, I'm going to harvest this broccoli, and I'm going to cover this one. And probably cover these two. And I think that's all. I'm giving it the best that I got, y'all. The sun came out, so I came back out. But <laughs> anyway, let me get my harvest on. Oh, I'll show you guys what the peppers look like, I guess. Since I'm about to pull them out and the sun is like right here. Ooh, Ooh I'm not going to. I'm going to keep them covered until I get ready to grab my stuff and get them out. Because I don't want them. Oops, sorry y'all. I can't even see. I don't want them to get cold. I feel like peppers are kind of like me. I was watching, um, um, I was watching Roots and Refuge, and Jessica said that she was such a frost tender flower, and I felt that so hard. I was like, me too, sis. Me too. I'm a frost tender flower too. I am. I, I get cold. <laughs> as soon as the wind blows, I'm like, oh! Like, today it says 46, but it feels like 38. Like, I can't get those few degrees of warmth. Like, why would it feel like 38? For what? Anyways, let me get to work, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Okay, family, so I started out with harvesting my yarrow just because it was right next to my pepper bed. Um, I used this in teas 
I'm gonna learn to do tinctures this year, but I use it for headaches and for fever. And then I also use it dry to stop bleeding. I still have to get my husband to come tell you guys how. <laughs> I season him whenever <laughs> he cuts himself. <laughs> But the yarrow is beautiful. It's growing really well. I transferred this one earlier and it's already starting to grow. So I'm grateful. Now I'm just starting to get my pots ready. I just threw some pine needles in the bottom of the pots. I'm not putting a lot of compost and stuff like that in them just because I just want to move them into the greenhouse. I know I said the garage, but I'm going to move them into the greenhouse just to stay alive. I don't need them to produce or anything. I don't need them to feel like growing a lot. I just want them to stay warm and alive. So I'm making some quick pots to sit my peppers in and then we'll go get them out. This is my first year um, overwintering peppers like this. I've watched a lot of videos so I'm hoping that this will work. It'll really help me out not having to start from scratch uh, with my pepper plants this season.
now that I got my peppers all taken care of, it's harvest time. Starting with my echinacea. Um, I already have some echinacea in the dehydrator, so this is my second harvest from it, but it pretty much drops most or all of its leaves, so I'm gonna get most of them before it does that. And then it'll come back out in the spring. Okay, family, the wind's starting to blow, sun's starting to go. <laughs> so I'm just watering everything in. We got the peppers out of here. Oops, I didn't mean to do it that hard. Um, I have food scraps. Y'all know I have food scraps to get rid of, right? I have food scraps to get rid of. So I filled those holes. Well, I dug them a little deeper. Filled the holes with food scraps and comfrey. Covered them back up with soil. I dropped a little bit of old soil too. Dropped a little bit of the old soil and then covered it up with pine needles. Just watering so that my stuff isn't dry and cold. And I'm not trying to hit all the leaves really. I'm just kind of trying to make sure stuff don't get too dry. So, I'm watering and then I'm going to cover everything back up. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing, but I mean, I'm just watering and talking to y'all. <laughs> but, I'm going to cover my, uh, the spinach and stuff that's back there. Cover that back up. And my tree, my uh, citrus trees, cover them. I'll show you. I had to uh, cut the loofah back some. Just making sure everybody got water. As I was saying, uh, any chance that I get to add in some food scraps and some free <laughs> fertilizer, free materials that will break down for me and later feed my plants, I will do so. So, overwintering those peppers. The roots left a lot of space for me, which was great. So that's what I did. These beans are probably gonna die out, which is fine, but hopefully the stevia doesn't. I did put some leaves over here by my celery. I don't know if I showed y'all that last time, but hopefully Celery will be happy. So I'm gonna water everything and then I'll show you guys what the plants look like. Everybody in here is watered enough for the next couple days. Cause I'm not gonna be opening this for the next couple days. Even the high is 30 something. And then the low, which is probably at night is like 20, 19. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, peppers are in here. Happy and healthy. That's the pepper that I put in here last time. All my little seedlings are watered. And I'm about to close this up. Over here where I took the other two peppers out. I buried some food scraps in there. And some comfrey and some rabbit poo. 
and covered it back up and once once this dies all the way back and I cut it down I cut it back a little bit just so that I could get in here to get my peppers out and so that I can cover this kumquat up that's the last thing I'm gonna do my daughter put some comfrey in there for me and some um, pine needles so now I'm just gonna cover this I guess with a blanket and that's about it that one is wrapped back up so he should be good. Everyone has been watered and it's not night. <laughs> I did just take some grow bags and pots and place them over things like my purple cauliflower is here. The broccoli that I didn't harvest is here. It's got a good mulch at the bottom. Like it's not fully closed off, but I'm hoping it's gonna be enough of a windbreak to keep them alive i have a friend coming over so i'm definitely gonna harvest some of this ethiopian kale for her and but i think the ethiopian kale will be okay either way it's okay because i have cuttings um i'm using pots and grow bags just to cover everything up so hopefully this stuff survives i will definitely keep you guys posted and let you know who is still alive later on let me know what the temp is in your garden, how you guys are doing. Have you overwintered peppers before? This will be my first time. So I'm excited. I believe, I believe in y'all. Tell me I'm not the only one that talks to my plants. Anyways, guys, it's getting chilly. I got people coming over. I will see you guys later. Love you. Peace.